Hey everyone, thank you for checking out my channel. This is the Billy Pipes meetup that we had on the 1st of September. It was an awesome time, able to spend time with the guys, hang out, chill out, and just, you know, buy, look and buy clothes. But um, we look really looking forward to doing that in the near future again. It was amazing. Um, the LFS you're looking at is called Reef Co. I mean, the coals are amazing. I wasn't looking to buy anything, but I just had to get some. I really had to. The colors and the store is just so clean. Now, the guys you're looking at is Billy Pipes, Dave Nano Tank, Reefing with O, Salty John, Salty Pipes, him and Billy Pipes connected together. <laughs> And um, we have Reef Spy over there that came inside of the alley. And we also have Fishy Snowman that also was there as well. And it was an amazing time hanging out with the guys and looking at corals. It was just really amazing. And the tanks, my goodness. I mean, this LFS is only t open two days out the week. Now this is the 40 new volt gallon all in one tank with the AP700 um, LED lights right on top of it. Um, the tank is really challenging for me because it's a smaller tank. And um, with the levels, it really takes a lot to monitor versus a big tank. With this amount of coals inside of a smaller tank, I already have to keep my eye on alkalinity and calcium. And alkalinity seems to drop a whole lot faster than the calcium. But I'm really thinking about using a Count Wasser on this tank. That way, you know, it can balance things a little bit out. But um, yeah, it looks amazing. A lot of people that stopped by and able to see the tank. Um, even my mother was in shock when she seen this tank of how beautiful it is. And like Death Mage said, this is my best looking tank ever. So um, in the new future, I am planning to get a bigger tank because small tanks is really challenging. Um, I lost one acro out of here so far, um, as in yesterday, but you will see it today in this video. But I lost it and it was completely bleached out. So I'm really gotta keep my eye on this and I really gotta stay focused on this and just monitor this tank. I'm still trying to figure out a name for this tank. I haven't thought of a name yet, but I will surely miss Big Shirley. Big Shirley was the first, but I gotta figure out a name for this tank. And uh, I mean, it's full of colors and it's small, so I gotta come up with something unique. But um, as for with livestock, I'm completely done as, a, as the moment. Now, no more corals and definitely no more fish. What you're seeing here is what's staying. I mean, I got the yellow tank and a 40 gallon. Please don't call the tank police on me. But um, yeah, I mean, it's still a, a small size. It's doing good in there. But prior to that, that's it with the fish and with the corals, that's it. I'm just leaving this tank, let it run, do what it do. But when I move, I will upgrade the tank, and when I do, I'm gonna take the coils and stuff out and place in the bigger tank. And the tank, the small tank, I might make it just a Zoa tank, just keep Zoas in there. But um, majority of the SPS will be going into a bigger tank because SPS in a smaller tank, ah, eh, it's not my thing. But definitely will be getting another tank. All right, folks. The acro, the second acro on your left side in the back is the one that got bleached out. Um, it was fine one day, and the next day I'm looking at it, it's completely bleached out. And I know the reason why. Because I kind of dosed alkalinity away a bit, way too much, uh, oh, way too high in there. And it bleached it out, but the other ones are doing fine. So I tried to cut a piece and trying to um, save it, but it didn't work out. All right, but a lot of the corals you're looking at in my tank, some of them I do not know the name of. Like those oanthers, the bird nests, yes, but some of them I do not 
knowing what type of afro it is or anything like the ones you're looking at the centerpiece right there with the colors don't know what they are and i'm the type of guy that go to an lfs store and pick out corals without even knowing the name of them and the one that you're looking at right now i just wanted to be a little bit of creative so i'll do one on top of another one do i know one might outgrow the other one and take over but i just say hey what the heck just do it on top of there like okay this look nice and um this the other fact that i got as well from um reef cone and like i said a lot of these scores i do not know the name of i just picked them out like look this look nice i'm gonna get it uh, but i'm gonna change that i'm gonna start doing homework and stuff and a lot of clothes that i get but a lot of the things that you've seen is the same thing that was in the 120 and i just love what was in the 120 the a cans uh was in the 120 as well but the sps is just the ones that's mainly just new rock flower been in there as well um if you didn't get a chance to catch my last videos them things been in there as well the euphilias also been in there as well um but the um the mushroom that's in the back looked like it must have stung the candy cane i never heard that before but it was kind of covering a bit. I didn't think much of it. But I started seeing the skeletons of the candy cane um, in the back. So, I don't know. Something must have went wrong. But yeah, a lot of the things are the same old things that I had in there. But um, I really appreciate you guys for checking out and taking the time out to watch this video. I try to mess and make the videos less than 10 minutes. But I really want to make it like up to five minutes because a lot of people don't make it through the end of a video, especially if it's too long, and especially if you're just running your mouth, not really talking about much. But thanks for watching. And you guys be blessed. Um, just remember to put God first in everything. Everything that you decide to do in your life, make sure that you put God first and he will handle the rest. I really appreciate you guys. Stay prayed up. Um, and I'll be working on the next video pretty soon of little ins and outs of what's going on in the tank. But appreciate you guys. Love y'all. Be blessed. Stay blessed. And I'm out.